Hey guys, it's Napos and welcome back to Zilonka, the map of the premium expansion. I know it has been a bit, but yeah, I've been busy. But we are here at the uh, previous planted field the, with the red beet. As you can see, they have germinated quite nicely. And I have to say, it looks pretty damn amazing. I love the way this looks. It's a beautiful shade of green. And we have an entire lovely field full of red beet. I think they've done an excellent job. Yeah, it really looks, uh, really looks very good, to be honest. But, yeah, we're not going to be standing around here all day admiring our own crops. We have work to do. And that means jumping into the Messy Ferguson. As you can see, I've already set him up over here with the uh, planter. And as you can see in the bottom right, we will be sowing uh, sorghum. I said planter, but this is a cedar, my bad. But here we go. Uh, okay, I was about to say, do I see any difference in the texture? But yes, I do. So yeah, as you may uh, think that it's uh, not the right time to be uh, sowing sorghum. Well, that may be true, but I don't have seasons uh, turned on for this playthrough. Just want to get everything done. Uh, when I wanted to and don't want to be waiting around all winter and not doing anything because we don't have that many animals uh, to keep us busy all right there we go that is the first pass let's have a quick look so the weeds are growing of course and it's rolling and while well, the sorghum is growing but that's good we need to increase the pH as well same over here that's fine uh, so yeah, I'm going to be doing sorghum in this field and this field over here, which has the weeds in it. This is also our field, which we harvested in the previous episode. I think it had wheat in it. Not weed, but wheat. All right, there we go. And this field that I'm driving in now, that's also ours. And I think I will be doing a new uh, type of crop in there as well, which means a, a vegetable crop. Don't know which one yet. Maybe I will go for carrots. I think that's also pretty interesting. But yeah, first things first, I'm gonna get these uh, two fields sowed with sorghum. And then we're gonna do the uh, other jobs to make the yield as high as possible. So that means rolling, spraying the fields with um, herbicide so that we don't get any weeds. And also, of course, do a little bit of lime spreading so that the pH is in optimal value. And all of that will be done in a short, quick, little time lapse. So I will be right back.
right as you can see we are almost finished with all the jobs we are just finishing up on this field well actually i only just started but yeah this is the final field that we have to do Let's wait for that car to pass there we go and once we are done with this field then we can continue on to the next job um yeah unfortunately it took a little bit longer than i uh, anticipated or that i what the hell am i doing that i planned because for some reason i had a sprayer that was not working properly uh, with the herbicide spraying as you can see over here there is still a small little strip it almost looks like it did some fertilizer or something but yeah i don't know it was um spraying it did not show the animation of spraying and also the the what's it called the herbicide was not being used at all so yeah and it also didn't work because it still said that the weeds were growing so i had to replace it and as you can see over here with the other sprayer that we have it is working properly just showing bits here and there where the the weeds have been killed off so yeah no idea what was that about but or what that was about so but yeah that uh, took a little time finagling and finding out what exactly was wrong but yeah it turned out it was the sprayer but there we go we got it fixed weeds have been killed just doing the uh, ph i know i should do lime spreading before seeding but i kind of got my bad and it doesn't really matter in fs All right, here we go. Only one more pass after this and then we are done. So then we have two lovely fields growing with sorghum and that field over there with the weeds still in it. That will be carrots. I wanted to say vegetables, but I mean carrots, of course. I know it's a uh, part of the vegetable uh, category, but I want to do carrots and once we have a field open again then the next one i will do is um uh, what is the other one turnip oh parsnip all right almost but there we go we are finished lovely we still have 6141 liters remaining i th think i also need to increase the uh, ph on this field yeah it's only okay so i may as well just continue in this field as well since i want to do the parsnip in this field uh holy hell i'm at a loss for words what is happening talking about carrots not parsnip not vegetable carrots that's what i want to do in this field so we gotta make this in perfect condition as well but by the way look at that straight ahead isn't that a lovely, lovely side? What about first person view? If it wants to switch anytime today? Yep, there we go. That uh, took some time, switching to the uh, interior camera. But look at that. Lovely. Beautiful field of uh, red bead. Noise. Alright, so uh, I think it's a good uh, time for me to just uh, make a quick little jump cut. I will get this field spread with lime and then we're going to start work preparing the field for the carrots. Okay, so here we are at the field. Um, apparently you have to make sure the field is plowed up. Well, maybe a cultivation or a cultivator also works, but yeah, I don't have a cultivator so I use the plow. Uh, because otherwise the uh, ridger over here this thing doesn't work so yeah make sure you uh, prepare the field before you start this job because otherwise nothing will happen but there we go now it's working perfectly creating beautiful ridges for the vegetables to go in lovely so yeah i just took care of the uh, plowing job real quick off camera of course because i wanted to get started on this job immediately yeah, I couldn't find uh, anything about this on the uh, info page. So, yeah, not sure what will work. If you have to plow the field or if the cultivator works as well. I think I will test that with the, uh, with the next field. But that means that we have to purchase a cultivator, of course. 
Well, I can also try leasing one, of course. I don't have to purchase one. Leasing is allowed in this series. It's not a survival series, so... Right, there we go. First riches created. Lovely. As you can see over there, the New Holland is already waiting. I got my sea bag ready. So as soon as we are finished with the Messy Ferguson, we can start on the uh, vegetable planting. Or maybe, maybe, if I've done this second pass, I will jump into the New Holland and get a worker to do the job for me. Yeah, I think maybe it's a better idea to let the worker uh, create the ridges. Yeah, I think that's better. Because otherwise it might get uh, a little bit confused every time the seed are empty. Then I have to take over, fill the fill the hopper again of the uh, planter. Yeah, I think it's better if the worker takes over with the uh, ridging. I'm just going to complete this second pass and then I will get the worker started. Not sure if it matters if I go across from left to right with the ridges. I want to make sure that the vegetables look as good as they can. Just like in the red beet field that we have. Alright, there we go. There were some tire marks there. I want to make sure that I get everything. Alright, let's see. I'm going to do a little bit of overlapping. There we go, there goes the worker. And I go into the New Holland. As you can see, carrots have already been selected. So we can get started immediately. Turn it on. Lower and there we go. Carrots are going in the ground, lovely. Oh, a bit of a stutter there. By the way, the only way you can tell that your uh, planter is working is the texture difference. As you can see, the area that we have been is a little bit darker. It's not due to the fertilizer, but yeah, that's the uh, vegetable seeds going in. But yeah, we should be done with this field uh, relatively quick, especially compared to the other field over there in distance. Uh, this field is a lot smaller, so yeah. Should be a nice, easy, quick job. And with that, I think it's a good time to start a little time lapse. I'm gonna pour myself some more coffee. You can enjoy a little bit of music, and I will be right back. almost finished we just have to go back down once more but yeah isn't this a lovely picture or a lovely sight to bet the worker jumps out uh, right here when they are finished so i just have to move this tractor before i can continue with the planting yeah i think it looks uh, it looks excellent i like it when there's uh, multiple tractors working in one field We're still going in a straight line. Yeah, sort of. All right. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, uh, final ridge over here is not planted. So we just got to go back down once more and then we are finished. Well, I do want to check one small piece. Make sure that that is working as well. Over there in the bottom, close to that pole over there, the, uh, the worker missed a small bit with the uh, ridger. So I'm just going to make sure that everything is working fine. But yeah, I have to say, that was quite, uh, yeah, 
quite a satisfying, easy job. I really love how these uh, fields look with these ridges. Especially as soon as the uh, crop is germinated over there, like the uh, red beet. Already mentioned that a few times, but yeah, I know. I, uh, I really like it. Alright, there we go. That was the final bit, and we are finished. We have the perfect percentage of uh, seeds remaining. Uh, but yeah, as you can see over here, this small piece, this was missed. The texture did change with the uh, planter, but yeah, I'm not sure if it's working. So, just to be safe, I'm going to jump into the Messy Ferguson and I'm going to go over that small piece just uh, one more time. Uh, with both the uh, ridger and also with the planter. Alright, let's see... Okay, it is changing the texture... No, it isn't. Okay. Then it's uh, it's fine. Then we just leave it like that. It still says that there's carrots growing, so... I'm guessing it will work out. Let me just check the minimap. Also, as you can see, the uh, chickens are still doing fine. They did not consume that much food, but yeah, we only have 11. Mm, if I have a look at this, I think that small piece was missed. But yeah, that's fine. Nothing I can do about that. Well, I could plow it up and do everything all over again, but no. It's such a tiny piece, I don't think it matters. Alright, I'm gonna get everything back in the shed. Um, what will be the next job? To be honest, I have no idea. We are basically done. All the fields are planted or sown. They have a crop growing. They are in perfect condition, aren't they? I would just have to double check the carrot field to make sure. Uh, the nitrogen is bad. All right. So we got to do the spraying. Of course, how could I forget? I left the sprayer right here for usage. There we go. Lovely blue and blue combination again. Let's get it unfolded and we can get started immediately. Check the minimap just to make sure everything is working. It sure is. Lovely. May have to get over go over the bottom piece again because I am absolutely not going in a straight line. Not whatsoever. Yeah, as you can see it's uh, switching on and off. So I've missed a few bits, but there we go. That's better. Also, once you have done the vegetable planting, there's absolutely no way to tell where you have and haven't been. So it's up to you to guess uh, where to drive. But yeah, I think... With this working with, we should be able to do this in two passes. I hope. That would be nice. I mean, it is a pretty good working with and the field is not that wide. Well, we're going to find out in just a few seconds. Just got to spin around over here. Driving through, uh, driving through the neighbor's crop. I'm sure they won't mind. Gotta make sure I'm aligned perfectly. Well, that is uh, not even close to being perfect. My bad. That's a little bit better. 
Still missing bits on the edge. Alright, there we go. But yeah, as you can see, it is working. I mean, of course it's working, but we are covering the field in just two passes, which is excellent. There we go. We are finished. Well, I gotta do a few small bits over here that I missed. This final strip, and then we are finished. There we go. That's the entire field in perfect condition. Lovely. So, pH perfect, nitrogen perfect. No weeds, of course, because we have done the plowing. For some reason, the expected yield is only 99% and not 100. Not sure why. Maybe because we... Yeah, we need that stubble uh, crusher thingy. I think once you've done that to a field, then the uh, the yield is uh, up to 100%. Alright, there we go. The sprayer is back in the shed. I'm just going to move this uh, trailer because I don't like the position here. I tried to get it into this shed over there, but yeah, that uh, that didn't fit, unfortunately. It's a bit too uh, too tall. So I'm just going to be parking it. Right here, in our own backyard. Is that the ideal place for this trailer? Mm, probably not, but... Yeah, we gotta place it somewhere. There we go. It's out of the way. That's all that matters. The chickens have produced a few eggs. Not that many, of course, because we only have 11 chickens. Well, 10 and one rooster. So we have 71 eggs. And, well... That is basically all the jobs done for today. All we have to do now is wait for the crops to ripen and then we can start the harvest. Yeah, okay. I think I will forward uh, time just a little bit to next month so that you can see the fruits of our labor. All crops germinated. I think that's, uh, that's nice to see and end the episode on that. All right, there we go. Good morning, we are now in October, and look at this, sorghum germinated perfectly. So in this field as well, and let's move over to the next field, our carrots. Yeah, that looks really amazing, I like it. They've done an excellent job on that, so good. Oh, let's check the, uh, the bottom section, let's uh, put on my running shoes. There we go. Uh, okay, it seems like it worked. Okay, that's good. Nice. It doesn't look as pretty as the uh, <clears throat> as the rest of the field. But that doesn't matter, to be honest. It works. That's all that matters to me. Lovely. Okay, since I still have my running shoes on, let's uh, check the red beet uh, field. Still looking good. Growing noise all right well back to the chickens how are they doing on food since another month has passed yeah they barely use anything so how much wheat do we have 14 and a half thousand i think they're gonna last for quite a long time but i think this is also a good time for me to end today's episode episode may be a little bit shorter but yeah we have done all jobs that we have to and in the next episode, I think we will start with the harvest of, well, either the sorghum or the red beet. Maybe even the carrots, but depends what is, uh, what is ripened first. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, well, you know what to do, guys. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.